Today, my obsession with helmets brings me to Ypsilanti, Michigan, the home of Eastern Michigan University. They've run over 30 different helmet combinations here, but we're gonna focus on the ones from 1950 to 1999. But first, a quick history lesson. Eastern Michigan started playing football in 1891. Early on, the school was called Michigan State Normal College. The team had no nickname, so they were referred to as either the Normalites or the Men of Ipsy. So they either wore an N or a Y on their jerseys. In 1929, the school adopted the nickname Hurons. Told you it'd be a quick history lesson, now to the best part. The helmets. From 1950 to 1965, Eastern Michigan wore a green helmet with a white stripe. Probably hard to tell from these black and white photos, but trust me, they were green and white. I also couldn't find any real versions of this helmet. In 1966, Eastern switched to these. I love this helmet. White with a green stripe, and for the first time in school history, this Hurons logo appears on the side and they never wore this look again after 1966. So how does the school whose colors are green and white end up with this? You can thank this guy, Faust Verzaka, better known as Frosty. Frosty was the AD at Eastern Michigan starting in 1966. In 67, he switched the helmets to yellow. Why? Because he'd worked previously for the Green Bay Packers and wanted to infuse some of their success into the team's helmets. They wore this helmet through 1975. By 1976, Frosty had melted away and the school went back to their true school colors. A green helmet with white striping and for the first time, the new polished Hurons logo with EMU lettering along the side of it. This was the look they had until 1983. Time for another quick history lesson. In 1984, the MAC tried to kick Eastern Michigan out of the conference. Why? in part because the football team had lost 27 straight games to start the decade, and they were drawing fewer than 6,000 fans per game. So the conference felt like Eastern Michigan was bringing them down. Eastern Michigan mounted a huge legal battle, won, and got to stay in the conference. Woohoo! So, with new life, brought a new helmet, white with a green stripe, and the Hurons logo with EMU next to it. They also had another sticker that had the word Hurons instead of EMU they could switch it out with. The last time Eastern Michigan won the MAC or a bowl game was in this helmet, and both were in 1987. 1991, the school celebrated 100 years of playing football, so they slapped a patch on the side of the helmet. They also changed their nickname that year from Hurons to Eagles, so the Hurons logo was replaced by a block E. In 1992, Eastern kept the same helmet. They just ripped the 100 sticker off and left that side blank while still rocking the block E on the other side. 1993 to 1995, the Eagles go all in on their new name and eh, let's just be honest, it's pretty much what the Philadelphia Eagles were wearing at the time. Still a good look though. 1996, for the first time in school history, they wear a gray helmet, blocky on both sides, and for the first time, the mascot Swoop makes an appearance on the headgear. This look lasted from 1996 through 1998. In 1999, Eastern Michigan goes back to white helmets. Same block E, same swoop. This is the only year Eastern Michigan wore it, and it's the last time an eagle has ever appeared on EMU's helmet. There you go. Those are the football helmets at Eastern Michigan from 1950 to 1999. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more football helmet videos.